Hey guys, welcome to Survival First. Today I'm going to answer a challenge from Bushcraft for fun. The challenge was, if I was to go for an extended period of time in the woods, what three tools would I take with me? Now he chose to bring a knife, a saw, and his kettle. Now this challenge originated with Panthera Paradis, and he elected to take a knife, an axe, and a shovel. So here are my three choices. First up, same as everyone else chose to bring, was a knife. The one I chose out of my collection was the Buck 673. Now I chose this one because it's a medium sized knife, it holds a fine edge, it's stainless steel, rubberized grip, so this knife can be used, abused, neglected, and it's still going to be ready for service next time you pick it up or pull it out of the sheath. I've used this knife for years now. I took in uh, the day I got it, just unsharp, you know, factory sharp. I never sharpened it beyond that. Um, I can slice tomatoes really finely, you use it as a kitchen utensil, probably better than I could most of my kitchen knives. So I went a year without sharpening it. And after the one year mark, I can still go in the kitchen and cut a tomato with it. Not as cleanly as it was obviously on day one, but you still didn't smash it. So this would be my first pick. Second, I would take a hatchet. This one is a Fiskars X7. Really I liked it because of the orange handle, you're not going to lose it. And, um, you know, it's, it's lightweight, but it still has a lot of mass for it. And um, out of the fact that they don't come with a carrying case, they have just something to hang on like a pegboard. So I made this leather sheath for it. But uh, a hatchet to me is going to be your second cutting edge. This is going to be what I would use to cut down trees or branches or split wood. Yes, I can use my knife to baton through anything, but... You're going to start degrading your knife to that. You're going to dull the edges down. And when it comes to the fence, if there's an animal coming after you, more likely hitting it in the head with an axe is going to be a little bit more persuasive than poking it with a, you know, a knife stuck on a stick. Last up, stainless steel water bottle. Now, I know Bushcraft for Fun chose this kettle for you know obvious reasons that you're going to want to boil water and that to me is going to be one of your most important things is being able to keep clean drinking water. You can have enough food but if you don't have water to drink you're going to die pretty quickly. So I chose a stainless steel water bottle. One I can boil water in it, I can make tea in it, you can make stew in it, whatever you really want to do as a way of a pot. Um, but when you're done you can put the cap back on it and now you can carry your drinking water with you. Whereas with a kettle or a pot you're kind of limited with that. You have to either have a, another container or just boil it wherever you're going to have your water at. So I would take the stainless steel water bottle over a pot or a pan. Now one thing all my items do have in common, this has a belt loop, this has a belt loop. This usually has a carabiner on it, but I took it off for the video so it's not clanging around. So all these items can be affixed to my person. So when I'm doing anything, you know, if I'm climbing or swimming, I can take all my items with me and not risk losing them. And that keeps them on my person, keeps them secure, and I never have to worry about them being out of reach or lost or stolen. So these are my three pieces. So as everyone else has, I'm going to pass this challenge along. First I'm going to challenge is MD over MDOR. MD, show us what three things you would take with you. And until next time, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Thanks guys.